Hi there, I'm Peter Sink, and I'm a Super Monkey Ball 2 speedrunner. I've been speedrunning this game for over a year now, and this is my SGDQ29 submission of Story Mode Zero Bananas. Story Mode Zero Bananas is a lot like Story Mode, where you complete all 100 levels of the game, except that, as the name suggests, you avoid collecting any banana of all the bananas that are scattered throughout the levels. This is actually quite a difficult task to do, because monkeys like bananas. And so there are a lot of bananas. Uh, throughout the levels So this is kind of a challenge variety a little miscellaneous challenge category that goes with this game Not any slower, but makes the game a lot more suspenseful and adds a lot of flair to certain strats where bananas are just kind of in the way Such as this demo level that we don't actually play in the game. Anyway, let's hop right into it I'll start a run up and explain the logistics of this category as we go on <coughs> All right, let's choose a file name What'll it be? Probably GDQ, because that's who I'm submitting to. Here we go. Get a little timer so I have time to write this in. Maybe slap an exclamation mark in? Why not? Question mark? Who knows? <laughs> Let's begin. Alright. So to start off this run, I'll just explain basics of Super Monkey Ball 2 Story Mode. <clears throat> You'll notice at the start of each level, what I'm going to do is right when it starts, I'll hit the retry button really fast, like that. What that does is that skips the slow spinning transition of the stage. That would take like an extra like five seconds to load if we just let it load out normally. So, speeds up the pace of every single level individually just with a little bit of menuing. And to complement that, at the end of each stage, as you'll see here, I'll do a thing that also makes the run a lot faster and is super easy to do called stage selecting, where I just go to the stage select button at the end of each stage. That also skips the exit transition, which also takes up an extra amount of time. All this adds up to like an extra five minutes throughout the run, there's no reason not to do that. Now, you'll notice at the start of each stage so far, I've done this thing where I move left and right at the start of each stage, and this actually increases my ball's momentum, thanks to something called boosting. Basically, when you boost, such as frame boosting, where you move diagonally, like so, you go faster, because when you're moving diagonally, you're picking up more momentum. And wall boosting, another type of frame boosting, uses the walls in every single stage as, sort of, as a sort of ramp in order to pick up more speed. And here we have the first stage that introduces the difficulty of the zero bananas mechanic. Normally, this stage is quite brainless. You just walk towards the goal, basically. These conveyors don't really stop you. But there are bananas in the way, so we have to take a nice little sweep, grind, not grind, turn, Tokyo Drift, as one might say, in order to get into the goal. <coughs> another stage like this, another warning of the difficulties of zero bananas is this stage. Not because it's difficult, but because you got to actually <laughs> miss the goal. you got to actually take a completely different path than you normally take. That is a good example of what zero bananas does to most of this run. Where you have to do kind of a completely different setup for a lot of stages in order to avoid bananas. Because they really are directly in the path of most speedrun strats. Which is kind of funny. It's almost like they knew. <laughs> but yeah, these next three stages should not be too different. As opposed to just the regular story mode run. So I will just explain some of the stuff that will be coming up in this run. That I'm going to talk about. Such as pause strats. Post gold bananas. And... A lot of zero banana pause strats. <laughs> a couple, anyway. Two. Total. But lots of strats that kind of completely change the way the game is played. Very refreshing, thanks to the zero bananas challenge, which is why I like this category a lot. It's very different from the regular story mode category. Coming up here, we have Curve Bridge, which actually has not a single banana in sight. So this will be quite similar to how you would normally play this. In fact, it'll be exactly like how you normally play this. <coughs> that is if I don't die. Which, uh, I guess dying is actually pretty normal too, because the strat is hard, but you know. <laughs> I do want to avoid doing that. Which I will, don't worry, let me just be quiet. There we go. Just during that one clip, that clip's very precise, and if I get it, I can basically guarantee that I get the cycle that I'm looking for here. But if I don't, I might not, and that would just be slow. And we don't like slow here. This is games done quick, not games done not quick, you know? Anyway, that'll finish off our first world. <clears throat> Moving on to world two, we'll be introduced to a lot of new, uh quirks to both story mode and story mode zero bananas. <clears throat> we'll start off with a stage where we just have to bear in mind the bananas that are there and just not run into them, hopefully. <laughs> they could be touched if I wasn't careful. That actually was pretty close. <laughs> anyway, you might be wondering, hey, Petrus, isn't this kind of a dangerous category to run at GDQ? I mean, if you get a banana, don't you just have to restart the run? Well, you might think that, but... The banana counter, as you can see at the top right of the screen, which shows how many bananas I have, still at zero, very conveniently. <clears throat> but that banana counter does not actually update permanently until you finish a stage and hit stage select. So if I notice that I collect a banana, I can simply retry the stage, and then it'll be back to zero. 
So as long as I don't, you know, finish a stage with a banana, we don't actually have to restart the run. Which, uh, I will not do, because uh, there are a few points in the game where it's, like, very likely <laughs> that you might get a banana after you finish the stage. Those are post-gold bananas, but, uh, we won't be dealing with that too much. Also, that last stage I just did there is actually usually done paused, but I like to do it pauseless because it's got a pretty wide window. But lots of other runners do it paused. That's a special little thing that I do. <coughs> Here is an example of a stage that is very, very difficult and different in Zero Bananas. See, there are bananas all across the middle of the stage, which is where you usually go, so I have to kind of hug the side here. And right at the end, you'll notice we have a banana right in front of the goal there. That's great. Ugh! So I got to go through the goal on the other side and then pause very quickly so I don't get the banana after I go through the goal. Because that is something I, I can do. He can get the banana after he goes through the goal, if you don't pause too quickly. This stage actually has the exact same mechanic. There are bananas that happen right after the end of this really, really fast stage. So I'm going to carefully buffer here a little bit just so I don't lose this run. There we go. <clears throat> that banana bunch right at the end there, let me tell you, at that speed, you're very likely to get that banana bunch if you don't buffer that. It's a, a dangerous stage. <clears throat> now, inchworms. This try is just my favorites, even just in regular story mode. Avoid this banana, but go up the inchworm and then head right into the goal. As long as you time that correctly, it's very smooth. Ah! Here's our first pause strat of the run, since I skipped that last pause strat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and look at the timer. 73. Okay, 71 works. <clears throat> okay! <laughs> 71 works, I guess, if you do it correctly. 71 would be a lot scarier, though, because I uh, would have to go around those bananas at the bottom, but usually you just want to go on top of the stage like so. There we go. But yeah, pause strats, basically what I do is, as you'll see here, I'm going to hold certain inputs and then pause while watching the timer at the top to execute a very specific series of inputs at certain times that will let me do stages in very quick... Woo! ...and interesting ways. That strat is actually done in regular story mode runs, but it's the only strat that works in zero bananas because there are bananas all over those platforms you have to cross. Bouncing over them with that pause strat does make that strat a lot easier, though. Well, a lot more possible, I should say. But yeah, basically, in order to execute exact inputs at exact times, we look at the timer and then buffer to, like, certain millisecond intervals where we want to execute those inputs. Since this game is no RNG, as long as I do the same thing at the same time, the level will always play the exact same way. So it's a very useful skill throughout this run. For example, here, where I use the 63 frame in this stage, where I can... Ah, you got the banana. See, we can just restart, though. Um, usually the 63 frame does not get that banana, so let me try again. I think I left a little bit too late. I survived, but I really don't... There we go. See, the 63 frame lets you pass right by that banana, which is faster than doing the stage normally and a lot easier, too. But see, I got the banana. I retried. I'm still at zero. That's the important thing about zero bananas. If it weren't for that, man, you just have to reset every time you get a banana. That would suck. So it's only a small time loss every time you get a banana accidentally. The goal is just to finish the run with that counter at zero. <clears throat> and coming up, we have another cool pause strat. This is actually one of my favorites. Basically, I'm going to use three different frames in order to launch right into the goal thanks to this little bouncy thing. Or I said three frames, but I actually only used two of them because the third frame is a wide window, so I like to do that pauseless. The trick to going fast in this game is using pause strats, which lets you do really fast stunts, but then not pausing some of the... Pause is... <laughs> Basically, the less you pause, the faster, because when you pause, the game's not moving. But pause strats let you do impossible things that are faster than doing it normally, so it's a balance between pausing and not pausing. Boy, I could go on and on about pausing, actually. That's a very uh, controversial topic in the monkey ball community. <laughs> Some may call it pause cheating. I call it pause winning, if you ask me. Alright, we are actually coming up to the hardest zero banana strat in the run. There is a banana that I'm going to avoid that is going to be a very tight window of opportunity for me to avoid it. Ah! Okay, that's alright. <laughs> Sorry for yelling. But that is just a tough thing to do. When you want a good run going, you get you can't be retrying constantly on this, but... Ah! Basically, in order to avoid that banana, its hitbox is so big that you basically have to fall off the stage slightly. Ah! There we go. In order to dodge that banana. Very difficult, actually. That is the fastest way to do that stage, though. There is a pause strat that, like, bounces you over the stage so you don't have to deal with the banana, but it's, uh, very slow. So, I like to go for that one. I usually can get it within three tries, which is good enough for me. In my PB, I got a second try. <laughs> there was one PB where I got a third try, but... 
Imagine being on that level for five minutes at GDQ. I can assure you, hopefully, that I can uh, complete that level within five minutes. <laughs> I can't get stuck on it forever. I'll just keep cutting it closer and closer to the edge until I get it. I can do it. I practice that strat a lot. Third try was not too bad. But yeah, that's a tough thing to do. I'll make sure to practice it a hundred times before my GDQ run if I get accepted. Anyway, so that finishes that stage. <clears throat> Losing a bit of time there because I don't think I messed up. Uh, yeah, I only messed it up twice. Or only messed it up once in my PB, so that's alright. We actually have a lot of time to save. There is a chance that I PB during this uh, submission, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, that's fine. That was very tight movement. I, I basically hit the button so late. Oh, okay. Please. I hit the button so late that the, the skater was really high up there, which made it a hard angle. Definitely possible to do in one go, but there's a backup for that. This is a fairly difficult strat. I'm going to do some pretty precise movements without pausing. That will let me not get hit by the comb. Ah! And not touch any bananas. Whew. Getting that first try is actually pretty nice. That could be pretty tough. <laughs> Big oof. Yeah, yeah. Um, alright, here's another strat. This is basically the normal way you do, uh, this stage. Well, not the- well, not the normal way, but the normal speedrun way. Uh... Because the only bananas you have to deal with are down the middle. There's a slightly faster variation of that strat I just did, where you go down the middle. You know, you have to take less time, you know, going around. But since there are bananas in the middle, we really can't do that. Here's a pause strat. There we go, right into the goal. That lets you balance on the top of that maze instead of doing the maze normally. Which is a big improvement, I would say. Because that maze is dumb. It's not even really a maze, honestly. I don't think it is. Um, World 4 actually gives us a little bit of a break from bananas that are in the way. I mean, look at those bananas. What are they doing on the top left and right corners of the stage? That's not going to affect me. That's miles away. I'm not going to touch those. Unless I was a big fool. Which, you know, is possible. I probably touched them at some point, but I don't remember. I blanked out the memory. Um, the only thing to worry about with launchers is there are, a, like, a line of bananas that are below the goal, so we can't go directly into the goal, we can only go in from the top. There are two ways. The bottom way is harder, but it gets you bananas along the way, so not really the way we want to go. Hey, let me, allow me to, uh, hopefully I get this track, because I want to talk about it. It's pretty precise, but if I get it right, I'll save point three over. Yes! Okay, cool. That is, a uh, 50 randomizer. Before that strat existed, everyone would get 49s on that stage, which is like 0.3 slower than what I just got. And funny thing about that strat is I actually invented it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, the one strat that I have my name on in this game. I'm pretty proud of it. Saves 0.3 over everything else and is consistent, so, you know, uh, the Petrus strat. I just call it 50 randomizer, though, because that's what you get. A lot of strats are called by the time you get on the timer. No bananas to avoid here, but this is a pretty high level strat. There we go. Dropping in right from the top, getting a couple bounces, and then landing in the goal. Not too bad, actually. This World 4 is really good for my, uh, for my standards. I'm very proud of that. Well, actually, there's one more level, but this level shouldn't go wrong. There's a lot of optimizations you can add, which I'm going to do here, that make it go by faster, but low chance of death? Low chance of death, again, if I'm not a fool, which I'm trying not to be. Oh, nice, little clips. Every Basically, whenever I'm doing a stage like this where I just got to get to the goal over a long distance, I'll often go for little bounces because when you're in the air, you actually go faster than when you're on the ground. 34 is actually a good time for Seesaw Bridges. That was actually a teal. A teal means that was my best World 4 ever in Zero Banana, so wow, that was actually really fast for me. I might be able to be ahead if I can get this RNG trick right here. Let me just focus. Ah, dang it. Uh, there's a thing called collision, uh, randomness, collision RNG, where sometimes you get a bounce off corners and sometimes you don't. I didn't right there, so I wasn't able to do the skip where you go straight to the goal. But this stage is not too much longer to go around, <laughs> as long as you do it efficiently. That skip is random, unless you do a pause strat, but I like to avoid pause strats whenever I can, because it is slower to pause than it is to, uh, not pause. Because whenever you pause, you're not speedrunning, you know? <laughs> Maybe that's why they call it pause cheating. Um, are there any particularly zero banana strats in this stage? If they're not, I'm going to talk a little bit more about pause strats. Uh, no, I think these are all pretty much the same. So, <clears throat> let me explain pause strats a little bit. The reason why I like to jokingly call them pause cheating is because there's actually a bit of a debate in the monkey ball community about whether pause strats are actually, like, well, it should be allowed, I guess. Whether they're actually speedrunning the game, you know? Because you do pause in order to get certain inputs that you will never miss as long as you get the frame, right? But I strongly disagree with that point of view, because 
pause buffering itself is a skill. And many of the pause strats don't play the stage for you, like this one, for example, where I still have to time that in order to complete the stage. And as you get better at pause strats, you can start doing them without pausing, which is way faster than pausing. So, again, it's a trade-off. Every pause strat you do slows you down a little bit, so. Except if they're really fast, because they let you do crazy stuff. But even those ones, you can reduce the number of frames in them to be faster, so. I personally like pause strats. Some don't call it pause cheating. I call it pause cheating as a joke, you know, it's a circle of life. Anyway, yeah, World 5 actually, it seems, does not have any bananas that are, like, directly in my way. Oh, except for one tricky banana that's coming up. Allow me to explain once I get to that stage. Also, beat screen, that one stage where there was a bunch of, like, rectangles flying around and I just kind of jumped right through it. That stage has some bananas on it, but, like, for some reason, by chance, I never seem to hit them, so... Not by chance! I do a pause strat! The pause strat does not hit them. Not chance! Not chance! <laughs> The only chance of this entire run is probably a wormhole, which I just did, where I sometimes I don't get collision. So I just don't want to say wrong things. Oops. Okay. Guess we're doing this level like this. A little bit slow, but I guess the job done! Woo! <laughs> Barely got that cycle! I couldn't get up on the wall like I was trying to, so I had to just do that stage a little bit slower, and oof, I almost didn't make that cycle. Alright! So here's the tricky banana I'm talking about. Basically, to make the stage faster, you kind of want to bounce off this corner right here, but I won't! Because if I bounce off that corner, that banana right there, I will guarantee to hit. The bounce sends you in the perfect direction to strike that banana, so I can't try to be fast there. And we had a best world 5 ever! Dang, this is actually a really good run for me. I'm ahead! <laughs> I'm ahead during my GDQ submission! That's crazy. Alright, I'll try to keep it going. World 6. World 6 has some rough strats. Uh, when it comes to bananas. Woo! Okay. <laughs> That's a bad place to goalpost, which is where you hit the, the wall of the goal, instead of uh, going directly in the tape, which is what you're aiming for. There isn't a lot of room to recover, so I just died. <laughs> but this, this world has a lot of bananas that are very close to being touched, but you actually never do, such as this level, where I go kind of close to that banana, but I'll never touch it. As well as this next stage where I do a two-frame pause strat that lets you complete this long stage really quickly. It's actually very impressive to look at. Let me just focus. Okay. Alright, cool. Awesome. There's a banana bunch right at the beginning there that I just passed by, but I'll never get it because it's a pause strat. Here I'm going to boost in a certain way to avoid the bananas. Oh, well, didn't boost in a certain way. <laughs> Good thing I can retry. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. Second try, baby. That's a quick level to retry anyway. There are bananas circling around really fast, so you really have to do something extremely precise to avoid them. <clears throat> Alright. This is actually just kind of normal. There's some bananas that if I'm playing really poorly, I might hit, but hopefully we're not... There we go. We're not playing poorly. Good to know. That was the test. Now this is actually a run. This is a level where I'm forced to do an extremely high level strat. Hold on. I don't even go for this strat normally in my runs, because it's like ridiculously precise, but they're bananas the other way, so I have to do this. Okay, wow, we lived! Spared! Spared by the cliffs! Awesome. Yeah, if I go- the the, the, the medium level strat is to go toward, to the right of that tower that I kind of passed to the left on, and what that does is, uh, loses a second. Only a second, so it's definitely the preferable one for me. Except there's a banana right in the way. Like, there's a banana sitting on the block that you have to bounce on. So I'm forced to use that higher level strat. Although I got it within two tries, which is not too bad. There are some cheeky bananas right here. Not two in the way, though. If I do that very poorly, I think I could definitely touch those bananas, but let's try not to. Uh, yeah, let's showcase the Steven strat. Let's do Steven Switch Inferno. Hopefully I get this. Oh, I did not. Okay. <laughs> one more try. One more. One more. The Steven Strat is very fast. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Ever so barely in the goal. <laughs> That's great. Shout out to Steven CW. He invented that strat where you uh, bounce off a button into the goal. It's pretty precise, but it gets the job done quite fast, as you saw there. Of course, if you hit some other buttons along the way, you're in a very big danger of uh, getting slapped by that thing that kills you if you hit the wrong button, so. Very good to avoid that. Awesome. 
Okay. Now I'll be entering the hardest zero banana world. Every single stage in this world pretty much has bananas that are in the way. Like this stage, for example. Allow me to dodge some bananas. Frick off. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> I can say frick, right? Whoa, banana. Whoa, banana. Okay, we're good. Actually, there's one more banana. Hold on. Um, don't touch me, please. Doll sponsorship. All right, we're good. First try. Yeah, there are actually four different bananas in that stage that are kind of directly in the way. This stage, we would normally take a thinner path for speed, but uh, there's bananas on every path and they're impossible to avoid. Except for this one. So I'm going to go this way instead. A little bit slower because I have to take that tight turn at the end. Or that hard left turn. <coughs> uh, this stage is about the same, but we're going to do another pause to it. <laughs> Fricks at GDQ? Sorry, no. Oh, dang it. Oh, there goes my submission then. <laughs> Woo! That was a backup strat. Actually, I missed the frame I wanted, but that way to do it is pretty fast too. Explain the origin of not swearing? Yeah, funny enough, I'm a prime GDQ candidate. <laughs> not to toot my own horn, but for no reason whatsoever, I actually don't say swear words. Aside from Frick, if that counts. Sorry, again. But yeah, I actually just, as a... See, when I was a young lad, I uh, kind of just didn't swear, because my parents didn't want me to, of course. As all young lads uh, are like. And people noticed that and they just started knowing me as the guy who doesn't swear. So I wanted to keep up that, uh, you know, stereotype. So I just kind of kept not doing it. And now that's just how I live, man. And I just completed the hardest, the second hardest zero banana strat in the run first try. Woo! That is awesome! I was talking about not swearing during it, but that is a... Three frame perfect, no backup pause strat that only exists to avoid the bananas on that stage. That th The zero bananas run was actually impossible before that pause strat was invented. And it's really hard. And it's a run killer, but... I mean, you, you can take as many tries as you want, but... It's tough, is all I'm trying to say. So I'm glad I got it right then. Ooh, banana right there. Watch out, buddy. Whoa, hey, calm down, man. <laughs> I, can't, I was just talking about not swearing, and I got that strat. I was going to explain that strat, build up the hype, but then I probably would have failed it. So, you know what? That's actually perfect. Okay, woo! Um, Not exactly how I'm supposed to do... Okay. <laughs> I took that at a, a, a weird angle. So I tried to do a backup there. Did not have enough speed anymore. This is how you're supposed to do this stage. There we go. Uh, uh, second try is absolutely fine. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, clearly I'm still popping off from not from doing that sieve strap first try. I can't even control my emotions. This stage is funny. See, in past GDQs, we make fun of the fact that you only have to walk forward to beat it. But there are some bananas, so I don't only walk forward. I walk forward and slightly to the right. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah, what's up, Snowbrawler in the chat? I'm doing a GDQ submission right now. Here's a stage that's kind of rough. No bananas particularly in the way though, so I guess that helps. But it's still a rough stage in the normal run! Okay. <clears throat> Basically, there's a particular speed and spot you want to land in when you jump to the stage. And if you get it correct, you uh, don't die. Which is definitely the outcome I'm going for. There's that outcome I was going for of not dying. Awesome. That was actually a pretty good World 7. Only two deaths. <clears throat> I guess I had a good World 7 in my PB too. I can still PB though, actually. I absolutely could. There's a lot of time to save in World 10 over my PB, so I guess we'll see what happens. And here is the second uh, Zero Bananas exclusive pause strat. Let me see if I can get it first try here. Woo! <laughs> Got both the frames, but I missed it at the end there, I guess. This, this try is rough because it was invented only for zero bananas, so not enough people have worked on it where there's a lot of backups. So I really just have to get these two frames and then get the adjustment. There we go. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. That's a, a lot more flashy of a way to beat the stage than how you do it in the normal run. But the normal way to do it passes over a lot of bananas, so we had to invent a strat there. Fa actually, credit to uh, Yapleson. I didn't invent it, but credit to Yapleson who invented that Paul strat. He didn't invent it for zero bananas, actually. He just invented it for the regular run, but it happens to not get any bananas, so that's really cool of him to invent that. <coughs> um, here, I just have to... Uh, no! 
delicately ah, avoid those bananas. <laughs> they get pretty close to being touched. Not as bad as uh, Kirby options from a long time ago, but still pretty scary. This is just a hard strat. No bananas, though. Oh, that was close, actually. I was about to stage select. I thought I got it. Ah, it's a nice thing that uh, retrying is really fast in this game. This game doesn't punish you as much for, like, one death as some games do, where you have to, like, go all the way back to the beginning of a level or something, or a world. But the goal, obviously, to save a lot of time is to, like, not have death stack up, you know? <clears throat> Wouldn't approve it, that is? Thank you! Yeah, that zero banana PB I got today was crazy. I did not expect that. That was the first run of the day. Getting a 32 there is nice. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, this strat is about the same. Unless I go, actually, I go towards the top platform where there are a lot of bananas, but I shouldn't have to do that. There we go. <clears throat> and good luck. Oh, <laughs> congrats on waking up, Fricks. Yeah, I'm doing a GDQ submission right now, actually, so. Oh, I did that wrong. <laughs> Distracted. Uh, this stage is about the same. This strat's pretty cool, actually. You do a little adjustment at the beginning that uh, my friend Alus taught me that lets you get a nice bounce, and you can go to the goal several cycles early, which is cool. Um, yes, there is one more level in World 8 that is particularly different um, in Zero Banana, so I'll explain that when I get there. But we're actually coming up to World 9 and 10, which surprisingly have very few levels that where bananas get directly in the way. I imagine since this is like a, an actual video game, bananas are usually good, that the later in the run they give you less bananas, because, you know, they don't want to, like, reward you as much, make the game harder, I suppose, to get those rewards, so... World 10 is actually pretty much just a regular story mode run, but I know all the fastest strats in World 10, so I can definitely put on a good show there. This is a, a funny stage. I have a strat that's faster than this, actually, where I use a frame strat to just bounce over the stage and go right into the goal, but that frame strat guarantees... You pass over some of these bananas here that I'm avoiding, so can't do it here. That's okay, though. The frame start only saves a couple seconds, and if you do this really fast, you can actually get a very similar time. It's hard to do it fast, though, because you don't want to clip the bananas accidentally. All right, cool. This could still PB. I'm not even kidding. I, like, my world 9 and 10 could save a lot of time. I had several deaths, I think. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Ah, interesting things to note about uh, World 9 and 10. Well, we're not getting to the end of the game. It's the actual levels. Ooh, little mistake there. Uh, the actual levels are fairly difficult. Like, doing this normally is really hard. In fact, I hadn't done it for a long time, like since I was a kid, until a bit recently, and it's tough. It took me a lot of tries. But you can kind of just drop into the goal, which is kind of the theme of many strats throughout this run, as you might have noticed. Often, you can just drop into the goal. Um, yeah, look at these bananas, huh? Look at these silly buggers. They think I'm going to collect them. Nice try. I haven't come this far just to collect you. That level is significantly more difficult since you have to avoid the bananas. Normally, you can just kind of take a straightish path, but they're in the way. This level's cool. As long as I don't mess up, there's no chance I hit bananas. Woo! Okay, cool. <laughs> there's bananas all around the saw, though, so there's no backing up that strat. I got to get a first try. That pause stretch world 10 is definitely possible. And I've done it more than once. Oh, like with that getting no bananas? Oh yeah, for sure. Because World 10 is actually filled with a lot of uh, paw strats, as I explained earlier in this run. So I imagine that doing the levels normally would give you more chances to get those bananas, but in a speedrun setting, nah. The bananas are totally out of the way. Here's a little strat that I've been uh, messing around with lately. Let me see if I can get it. Um, oh, okay. That didn't look like it was in, but I'll take it. <laughs> uh, everyone does that clip where you uh, skip that part in Flat Maze. But la recently, on the advice of my friend A-List... Um, I've been boosting on it, which gives you a faster time, but kind of makes a weird window for what you have to do to get the clip. It's tough. I'm glad I got first try. Here's a little paw strat that lets me slap right into the goal. Very satisfying. I forgot to do load manip. You're supposed to skip this stage because it's the longest stage in the run. I didn't explain that earlier, but basically I've been skipping some stages if they're really long because the cutscene for the f next world loads during the final stage you play. So normally I want to play this last because it's a long stage so it has a lot of time to load that cutscene. But I forgot so I'll probably uh, swap out some other level that's somewhat long. Yeah, I guess I'll so swap out Twin Basin. Yeah, sounds like a good uh, compromise. <sighs> yeah, welcome everyone in the chat. Just finishing up this GDQ submission. I'll uh, talk more once the run's over. <clears throat> Oh yes, Invisible would be a really terrible strat without the pause strat. Of course, I might actually have to do that because the backup for Invisible is pauseless, so I guess we'll see what happens. 
Alright, cool. Yeah, Twin Basin is kind of like... Oh, I forgot to swap out. Okay, no low manip. Don't swap out anything? Alright, cool. So, we'll be finishing the last level of this run. Air Hockey with a very simple strat where I simply walk forward. And then stop walking forward. <laughs> very difficult, I know. Uh, I didn't do low manip. I'll just skip that split. Let's go to the end. <laughs> now I have plant. Congrats on the plant. I don't know what that means. Alright. This is probably like the one stage in World 10 that's slightly different. Instead of taking a thin path for speed, because that's closer to the goal, I'm going to take this thick path here. And then still fly right into the goal. You lose basically no time to that even, so. Because it, it's a nice, like, slope that you can use to ramp into the goal. And here is the introduction to one of the longest pause strats in the run. Uh, this world is filled with these. Because all these levels are very long and gimmicky normally. Like gimmick, for example. Haha. <laughs> But with pause strats, we can do crazy stunts that let us skip large sections of the level. Woo! I got one of the harder frames. There's several you can use there, but that one's kind of hard to do. But I got it. Hey, look, some bananas! Let's uh, not get those. <laughs> awesome. Uh, oh, this is one of my favorite levels in Zero Bananas, because that banana bunch that's spinning slowly closer towards me never actually touches me. It looks like it would, though. You'd think. But that's the way it is, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> Disorder. I'm gonna do the fastest strat here. Yeah! Awesome. Cool. I learned that one recently, actually. You go right into the goal. My old strat was kind of casual, where you, like, walk around to it, lose, like, a couple seconds. But going right in is a lot more satisfying, for sure. Should be able to... Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna go for a four frame perfect pause strat. If I miss any frames though, I'll just do another strat that is a backup. Hopefully I get it though. It would look cool if I got it. Oh, didn't get it. Alright. So what you do normally, pauseless, which loses a little bit of seconds, is this, where I'm gonna go for a tight clip here without pausing. Um, okay, cool. We didn't get it. We have another shot at the pause strat then. Haha. <laughs> Oh, no, didn't get it again. Okay, I'm usually pretty good at the pauses variation, so I should get it this time. Mark my words. Don't mark them. My name's not Mark. Stop calling me Mark! Okay, I got it. <laughs> I had to yell to, uh, you know, increase the chance of me getting that strat. Whoa, don't get that banana. Okay. And now we have uh, an introduction to the longest pause strat in the run. Actually, that last one is also four frames, but here's another four frame strat. Um, this one has a lot of backups though, unlike that Labyrinth strat, so I should be able to, uh, get it first try. Or I could just get all the main frames first try, I guess that works too. Alright, fair enough. Look at that! Bounce, bounce, bounce! Who cares about these stairs? I don't! Let's go. Yo, what's up, Steven? Doing a GDQ submission right now. I'm actually just about to finish it up. I'm really proud of this one, so... Excited to end this run. Uh, here's a pause... Okay, never mind. I missed the frame. Let's just do it, uh, without pausing. A little bit tighter, but... Am I a gamer? I uh, play video games as a hobby and a passion. Woo! <laughs> Alright, here's invisible. If I get the main frame set, this stage is really easy. But if I have to do a backup, it's going to be very difficult. Okay, there's a backup. Okay, I missed the backup. <laughs> Let's uh, try that again. 10, 15, 91. 15, 91, adjust, okay, didn't have to do a backup, that's good. <laughs> that banana right at the end of that stage that I bounced over is very rough if I don't get to bounce over it. Alright, and the final strat in the run, the final stage, the time should end about here. Uh, let me just complete this final pause strat, let's get 65 maybe, okay, um, 08 works, yep. Ha! 33.20! Not too bad, actually, for a no reset. I'm really proud of that time, actually. That's a decent time for me, even in regular story mode, so I'll take that. Um, thank you! Thank you for watching my GDQ submission. That's, uh, Story Mode Zero Bananas. Uh, have a look at the top right of the screen. We finished the story mode, <laughs> and we have no bananas. The monkeys shall now starve, but that's okay, it's part of the plot. Because the bananas are poisoned, probably. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um... Thank you for considering me, for uh, 
SGDQ 2019. And uh, I eagerly await your response.